Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the basics of creating a Google document from scratch. Now, this is the third video in my series on Google Workspace Basics for Beginners. This is a series that's designed for people who are new to using Google Workspace in their classrooms and in their schools. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So I'm here in my Google Drive, and from here, I can create a new Google document. I can do that by selecting New. And when that menu opens, we'll then have the option for Documents. And we can create from a blank document or from a template. Now, there are two other ways you can approach creating a new Google document. One of those is to simply type into your browser docs.google.com. And that will bring up this screen, which will share, show you all of your current Google documents. In this case, ones owned by anyone, including yourself and the ones that have been shared with you. And from here, you can access all the templates that are available to you. Or you can go back and create a new blank document. Now your third option for creating a document from scratch is to type into your browser docs.new. That will automatically bring up a blank Google document that is untitled and you can start working right away. All three methods will get you to the same end goal of having a new Google document to work on. Let's give this one a title and we'll call it Sample Google Doc number five. And now let's start writing here. Now our default text is Arial font in size 11. And so let's just go ahead and start typing Sample Google Document number five. Now I wanna change that font. Let's make it larger and let's bold it. Let's underline it, make it a little bit larger. Let's go up here and change the alignment. And from here, we can still go in and change the font by looking at all the fonts in this menu or selecting more fonts. And we'll have a gallery of more than 400 additional fonts that we can use in our Google Documents. Let's say I wanna use this Oswald font. I can certainly use that one or Railway. Just Click on them, and they're now added to the menu. I'm going to add the Meriwether font as well. And now I can apply those fonts, and we'll see they're listed alphabetically. And I'm going to use my Meriwether font in a normal size. And again, I can bold it if I want to as well. Now let's Put our cursor back on the left-hand side by just changing the alignment. Let's turn off the bolding and the underlining, and let's shrink this back down to 12-point font instead of the 16-point font that I'd previously used. Let's just write some sample text. And we'll say this sample document is just for showing how to do some of the basics in Google Documents. Now, from here, I want to add in an image. Let's say we wanna add an image into our document. Let's go up to the Insert menu. And this Insert menu is going to give us all kinds of options. We'll see here we have drawings and charts, we can put lines, put a horizontal line across the document if we like. You can see here, we can even add in page numbers and headers and footers, but I wanna add in an image. Now, Google does provide a nice search the web option. You can also select images that are stored in your Google Drive or Google Photos account. You can link to a photo. You can even turn on your webcam and take a picture, but I wanna upload a photo. So I'm gonna select upload from my computer. And I have my images that I wanna use here. 
let's go ahead and insert that image. Now I have my picture in my document, and when I click on it, we'll see some additional things that we can choose to do. We can choose positioning of text, so I can do a wrap text, I can break text, I can even put text in front of the image so I can write over the image itself. Since I've clicked on it, I can also just simply click and drag to make it smaller because by default, it's going to fill up the entire width of the page. We have this additional menu here to go in and look at all of our image options. And that'll bring up our side menu here where we can be very specific in the size and the rotation of the image. If I want to flip it around, I can do so right there. Use our text wrapping. We can even go in here and change the color of the image, do some apply some recoloring. You can see those filters there. And we have further adjustments down below for transparency, brightness, and contrast. But I also want to add a little border around this image. So to add a little border around the image, let's click on it once. And then up here, I have some border weight. I'm going to say I want four point border weight, and I might even want to change the color and make it orange. So I have a nice orange border around my photograph. Now, when I'm happy with my photograph, I'm going to keep writing right down below it. This is a picture of Dakota Thunder. This is the largest bison statue in the world. You will find it in Jamestown, North Dakota. Now, I'm going to show you one other little feature that's really handy built right into Google Documents, and that's a search function. I can't remember the exact weight of this statue. I think it's somewhere between 50 and 60 tons is what this statue weighs. So I'm going to start writing. This statue weighs. And I'm not sure what it weighs. So what I'm going to do is in the bottom right hand corner here, I'm going to click on this explore button. And this explore button will bring up the option for me to search. And I'm going to search my documents and the web. I'm going to search Dakota Thunder. Buffalo. And over here on the right hand side, it's going to give me some web results. And I can see right there, it's 26 feet tall, 60 ton concrete. Right, so let's say it weighs 60 tons and is 26 feet tall. Now I wanna cite the source of my information. So I'm just gonna click on cite as footnote. And that will automatically insert the footnote into my document. And that's a really handy feature that again is built right into Google Documents so that you don't have to open a new tab or new window to go and do a search. Now there are many, many more features available in Google Documents for formatting your document. And I have another video that just highlights those features. But for now, what I wanna show you is some of the sharing options that are available to you in Google Documents. So first of all, in the upper right hand corner, we'll see that this document by default is private and I'm the only one who can see it. If I hit that share button, I can now invite other people to work on that document with me. And so I have Max here, who I've just invited to be an editor. Now as an editor, he can do anything that I can do with that document. He can write on it, he can delete things, he could delete the entire thing if he wanted to. He could add more pictures. He could change the captions. He could change the border I put around the image. Anything I can do, he can do as an editor. You can also invite him to be a, a commenter. 
which means he can only comment on things that are in the document. It's a great way to get feedback from someone, great for peer editing. Or I can say he's just a viewer and he can only view the document but can't do anything else with it. In this case, I'm going to let Max be an editor. Let's go ahead and hit that send button. And now Max has access to this document. And I might want to get Max's input on what I've written here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to go over here and add a comment. And I'm going to say at Max, And now I'm going to assign that to Max to look at that document or look at that part of the document. I'm going to cancel that and show you another way to approach this. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to write a comment and say, Max, can you look at this document and see if it makes sense? And I'll tag him in it at Max and I'll comment on that. Now, when it's resolved, when Max has looked at it, he can come along and click on it and remove that comment. We also have this option here for suggesting an edit, which again is great for peer editing. And we'll see that in the upper right hand corner, we're now in suggesting mode. And that means we're going to suggest some changes into this document here and say, this is another sentence we can add. We'll see that that's in green. And until one of the editors clicks the accept button, it's just a suggestion. It's not actually a part of the document. Now the editor can approve that and accept it or reject it. Now let's look at some of the other sharing options that are available. We have in the upper left corner, the file menu. And we will see this option here to publish to the web. When we publish to the web, we are essentially creating a very small website, a single page or a single document website. We'll publish that. And now anyone who has this link can see the document. They can't edit the document, they can't comment on the document, they can simply see the document using that link. Now if I wanna change that, I can stop publishing at any time. And finally, if for some reason you wanna have the document in another format, you can go to the file menu, and you can hit the download button, you can see here, you can download it as a Word document, an open document, PDF, web page, or even as an EPUB publication. In this case here, I'm going to download it as a PDF, and now I'll have that document right on my desktop. And of course, I can send that PDF as an attachment, just like I would send anything else in my email. So, that's a short overview of the basics of creating a Google document. In the next video, we'll look at the basics of creating Google Slides. And again, for more details on all the things you can do in Google Documents, look at my video on 10 features you need to know in Google Docs. And that's linked up right down below in the description of this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out freetechforteachers.com.